Hello, my name is Chad from RealDealEV.com. Today we're going to be going over how to install a 12 volt battery on a Model 3. The first thing you're going to want to do is roll down all your windows in your car. The next thing you're going to want to do is pop your frunk and then you're going to power down the car. From here you're going to go into the back seat and there's a little slide that's going to, you're going to slide all the way to the right. And from this point you're going to lift up the seat pull out the styrofoam cover and then you're going to release the clip from the high voltage header. Once that's pulled down you're going to be able to take the clip and pull it straight up. From there you're going to go up to your frunk. You're going to open up the frunk and you're going to start removing the plastic trim piece that goes around your washer fluid reservoir. All it is is a bunch of clips. You're just going to feel around. You'll hear them all release as you go around the corners. Take your time. The next thing you're going to do is release these four clips that go around the air duct. And from here, you're going to release them straight up. Pull on each one to release the tension and then slide it out of the way. Now from here, you're going to be able to see your 12 volt battery. You're going to take a 10 millimeter socket and remove the battery hold down bracket, which is an aluminum bracket over top of the steel hold down bracket, the black piece. You're going to take this off. And then once you got it completely loose, go ahead and take the nut off. Don't drop it. You're going to take the metal bracket and it's got a hook on both sides. I found it easier to unhook the side closest to you after you release the back portion you kind of push on the battery and it'll slide right out the next thing you're gonna do is release that vent tube on the far right just below my hand there you're gonna take your 10 millimeter socket loosen up your negative terminal then you're gonna loosen up your positive terminal once it's loose you'll be able to slide it out of the way and tuck it over in the corner here so it stays out of your way. The next thing, I found this negative to get bound up, so all I did was slide the bolt over and it released it. And at this point you can pull your 12 volt battery out, put your new real deal EV 12 volt battery back in, remove your plastic covers for your 12 volt leads, Install your negative, install your vent tube, install your positive. You're going to see a little spark there. And you're going to want to tighten each one of them up. Check to make sure it's tight. Tighten up your positive and slide the little cover over the lead. Now you're going to work your bracket back in, hook the front first and then hook the back. You can see I'm holding up on the bracket a little bit here. Tighten up your nut. When you do this, it's going to basically, that aluminum is going to push down on the battery and then it's going to pull that bracket up and it holds it in nice and secure. Here you're going to want to make sure it's all tight. Now you're going to put your air filter ducting back on. I found this easier to attach the top portion and then the bottom portion. Next, you're going to put in your shroud that covers all this up. And again, there's probably 13 clips on those. So you're just going to walk around it. They clip in pretty easily. Now from this point, you're going to go back to the back seat. You're going to hook up your high voltage clip, slide the bar over, and you're going to take your styrofoam cover, cover it back up, and you're going to push the seat back down. I found it easier to slide the slide out of the way and then push it down. Once it's done there, you're going to go back up, close your frunk, and then you may have to go through a power cycle. Just power the car down again, power it back up. 
But that's it. Didn't take too long. Thanks so much. Visit us at realdealev.com.